Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident and welcome to our grade 9 revision and this is a previous paper here, look at this, um, final exam, November, so you guys, whether you're preparing for your November, your June, this is very very important and then this is uh, more like I'm preparing you, I want to prepare you for your final exams, you don't want to, to struggle or panic in that exam, so I'm just gonna go through some of these previous papers in the next coming videos so i'll be choosing questions there and there that i think they are very important especially for you who are preparing for your exams in june so some of the concepts are not yet covered so i'm focusing on june so let's look at this concept here as we're looking at it um i will cover in the next video these patterns right but here just interested in equations there it is question four it says subtract this from these three marks quick one when they say subtract this from this, subtract this from, the keyword there is from. So from means start here. That's the start. Start here. All right. From what? From, so that's what you do. You say minus 2, 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. From this one, subtract. What does subtract mean? Minus. So minus Subtract what? Subtract this guy here. Subtract 4x squared minus 3. But everything you are doing, very important. I'm, I'm just going to show you like this. When they say subtract, when you say a minus, also put a bracket here. If you don't, everything will be wrong. So did you see that? Very important. What I did there is very important. Subtract this from, I mean subtract subtract this from this don't forget the what the brackets so first of all open that bracket open that bracket and open that bracket what does it do minus 2 times 2 is minus 4x squared test with the calculator minus 2 times minus 3 so it's minus 2 times minus 3 take a calculator there and check of course negative negative is positive it's positive 6 but check the calculator please and then minus 2 so it's minus 6x eh? so minus 2 times 5 it's 10 right but negative 10 check with the calculator all right then this minus in in a way put it as minus 1 so it's minus 1 times this minus 1 times that or you just interchange the signs that's what it means when you interchange the sign there was a positive here positive 4 become minus 4x squared or you are saying minus 1 times 4, which is called negative 4, but it's negative 4x squared, okay? Minus 1 times times minus 3, negative negative is positive 3. Or as I keep on saying, your calculator, you write the answer, but test yourself with the calculator. From there, look at the like terms. This and this are like terms. Bring them together. So it's minus 4x squared, um, minus 4x squared. All right, and then which ones are common again? Um, is there anything common here? Why didn't I? Okay, 6x, I see 6x. There's nothing common with 6x, but there it is, this one. See, this is common. So what will I have? I'll have, uh, so let me write my plus 6x, nothing is common there. Minus 10 plus 3, it's common. So. Use the calculator minus 4 minus 4. So minus 4 minus 4, you add. The same as saying 4 plus 4, which is 8. But there was a negative there. You maintain the negative. So it's negative 8x squared. But take a calculator and say minus 4 minus 4. And then plus 6x. And then minus 10 plus 3. You are saying 10 minus 3, which is 7. But negative was here. So it becomes negative 7. You see that? But use a calculator say minus 10 plus 3. Always use a calculator. I know you want to master this uh, mentally, but use a calculator to test your answers. So this becomes the answer. All right. So that is that. Let's try another one. I'm just going to do this. It's a short video. Anything that I don't finish, we're going to take it to the next lesson. All right. So you simplify. Simplify what? I'm supposed to simplify these. How many marks? Three marks. Look at this one. If I'm to simplify minus b cubed over 12, uh, 4b 
minus 2ab over 6 plus 12 you know don't be don't be um don't panic over simple things like this i mean over fractions you're you're panicking no this i have not done not really the method is the same this whole thing pretend it's one thing it comes here and multiply okay let me just do this let me uh, have it like this let me duplicate this so that when i'm working on it you'll see what i'm trying to do so i'm saying here this is just one thing it's same like saying this if i can give you and say a times a i mean times a plus b plus c this is the same thing the a goes here the a goes there and the a multiplies it's the same way you're going to say a times a plus a times b plus a times c see what i'm just doing it's the same thing even here the fact that they have given you fractions don't worry this one will multiply that and it will multiply that and it will multiply that just write as you are seeing it write what you are seeing so what are you seeing you are seeing minus b cubed over 12 times 4b but to make things easier this is how you can write the 4b still the same say 4b over 1 because you've got the fraction on the other side b cubed over 12 it helps that better and then you go up to the same thing and then look at the next one how do you do this look at the sign is negative so you can say minus take that sign you can put a plus if you want but my plus and then minus but this is the easier way minus b cubed over 12 then times again you say negative 2 a b over 6 be careful of these two negatives and then again minus b cubed over 12 and then times see you can write 12 like this it's fine but it's better to see that the 12 is on top over 1 why am i doing that i'm doing that because this allows you to see that 4 cancels into 12 you see you can cancel to say i get a 3 there you see that and then what you're gonna have now b so you've got minus b cubed see you multiply the tops times b over 3 times 1 that's the bottom multiply the top and the bottom and then these two negatives here they will become a positive so remember minus times minus is called the plus so you're going to say then plus then again don't forget the two uh, let me use a different one here the two you can cancel with the six but i want to cancel here the two and it goes into 12 six times so i'm gonna have what i just did that intentionally plus b cubed times a b over six times six and then minus since it's only minus here you do the same thing this time the 12 goes into 12 once so at the bottom there is one times one which is minus b cubed times one over one times one you see you simplify equal to now b cubed times b the negative has got power now because negative and positive is negative so b cubed now it's b3 plus 1 which is b4 there is a 1 there you add them when you multiply over 3 plus same thing here b cubed times a b there is a 1 for the b so it's b4 but you can start with a over 6 times 6 is 36 so you start with a but this part is same as that you see, it's b cubed times b is b to the power of what? Of 4. Then minus, again, come here, b times 1 is b cubed over 1. So you can leave it like that, minus b cubed. That becomes your answer. Difficult? Not really, but I hope it does make sense. All right. As I said, I don't want to make this video too long. Let me see if it allows me to do more. Let me see if it allows me to do more. If it doesn't, catch me again in the next lesson all right if it doesn't catch me in the next lesson i just wanted to make it short just for your revision okay maybe we can do this one then we take the answer there it is simplify
think I'll take this as the last one. It's 4x cubed, right? Minus 2x bracket 3x squared over 2x cubed. Very important concept. Look at this one. What do you do here? Very, very careful. Don't start doing things like I want to cancel and I want to cancel and then I want to cancel like this. Let me use actually the red one and make it big. Like you're like this goes with that. This goes with that. So the answer is 4 minus x, 3x squared. That's very dangerous. Suicidal attempts. Don't do acrobatics in maths, okay? Don't do some, you know, some strange moves, guys. I'm joking, but that's not allowed. That's not allowed. Let me give you this, the, 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 what, the concept they're trying to print there. If I say to you, A plus B over C, this is the concept. The C affects A and B. So it's A over C plus B over C. Do you get the concept? So the C is affecting each one on top. Meaning, even here, this affect that. Then there is a sign minus. Just like A plus. There was that plus. You see the plus is here. So even here, that sign minus, it means this will affect that since it's multiplying it's considered as one thing so what do you do you can first open up this bracket here open up this so that you will have 4 x cubed now it's minus 2 times 3 which is minus 6 so it's one thing 2 times 3 is 6 x times x squared how many there are 3 now it's 2 plus 1 x to the power of what of 3 you see over 2x cubed that's what i was trying to tell you to say this look like one thing all right i see now it's a bit different now the approach but i'll approach it in two ways i told you this affects each one so i will have now method one for x cubed over 2x cubed just to maintain that method minus 6x cubed over 2x cubed this is still fine Right, then you can you can now do this. X cubed cancels the x cubed. Two goes into four two times. Then you'll have here two minus do the same thing here. Uh, x cubed cancels two goes into six three times. So two minus three. What is two minus three? Take a calculator. If you are confusing, it's minus one. Or here you were allowed at this stage. It was okay. Nothing was wrong here to say 4 minus 6. Remember, it's x cubed, same terms. These are like terms. So you just say 4 minus 6 is minus 2 of this like term. 2 of x cubed. Over what? Over 2x cubed. See that? It was a lot. Then it's one item versus one item. x cubed cancels x cubed. 2 goes into negative 2, 1. There is the answer. Answer being negative one okay this is okay but i like also this one because i was trying to show you that concept so guys yes that is it here they want me to factorize but i can actually quickly show you this one here i'll do the next one in the previous lesson now next one here it's easier it's easier here it says x a plus y minus y plus a I've done this in the previous lesson. Look at the signs. Actually, this is the same thing. Look, a plus y, y plus a. It's the same as saying x, a plus y. Now, minus. See, this is the same as a is still positive, plus y is still positive. They're just trying to confuse you to think that it's different. a plus y is the same as y plus a. Yeah? a plus y. Okay, let me do this in general a plus b is same as b plus a so i can write it like this a minus b is same as minus b plus a you see what i'm trying to say so even here now when the brackets are the same like this you open the bracket as your a plus y so what is outside the brackets that's where they wanted to test you it's only you see x and minus do you see that 
So what are you gonna write? Yes, I'm gonna write the next bracket is x minus minus what? A placeholder there is a hidden one. So x minus one, then that becomes factorized. Alright. Don't get this full. Don't be full. Don't be tricked by this. Guys, I wanted to show you this one. I will show you when you guys give me feedback. If you don't give me feedback, no, I'm not doing it. Because I always want interaction. But first thing first, try this as your homework. This is this one. This is your homework. Avoid looking at the memos of these things. I know you can download and check the answers. But what is important is not the answer. It's the concept, the question, how you approach it. So this is your homework. Try it. And this one. Oh, we did also word problems. And this one. Actually, I did something similar. This one. Check my previous video. There is something similar to this. I want you to try this. This is also your homework. Then give me feedback on how you tried it. And the more the feedback, the higher the chance of me bringing you this. If there is... I know there is always that one student of mine, my underdog, who always says, thank you, sir, please show me this. But I'm going to show you a private one. If, if it means I can do a video for you, I will. But look, just give me a comment, then I will show you. We're going to do such questions. We're going to do this. is also going to be examinable for you. Very important. I'll show you how to go about um, this part, including all this. Very examinable. And then I'll show you that. So very important as you prepare for your final exam. Don't. Go to that exam without proper preparation. All right. So, guys, we've come to the end of our lesson. Remember to subscribe and ensure that the notification bell is turned on so that you can be notified every time I'm posting some new videos. Thank you.